see that angry swarm? You might think some sort of insect is responsible for all that frenzied activity. But it turns out those little buggers aren't insects. They're not even alive. They're tiny gold nanorods that researchers at Penn State have put inside cancer cells. The nanorods aren't anything special, just ultra-thin, somewhat pointy gold cylinders. They're only able to act like motors and buzz around the inside of those cells because they're in an ultrasound chamber. Just as doctors use ultrasound to see a baby in a mother's womb, the Penn State team bombards their nanorods with acoustic waves. When the waves hit the small chunks of solid gold, they turn the rods into motors, pushing them around. These new micromotors aren't the first of their kind. In the past, researchers have designed tiny motors that propel forward by emitting gas bubbles or chemicals from a reaction. But many of these have used toxic fuels or released problematic metals, so they couldn't be put inside living cells. Now that the Penn State team has gotten at least one type of motor zooming around inside cells, they're looking ahead. Someday these micromotors might deliver drugs to a precise spot inside a person's body or carry out non-invasive surgery. But before that ambitious vision can become reality, the Penn State researchers hope to get better control over the motors. And they hope to determine the motor's safety by figuring out exactly what happens when those little buggers rattle the innards of a simple cell. This is Lauren Wolf reporting for Chemical and Engineering News.